Um, I'm here today to do a brief little skincare video. I'm trying to see if I can do it in like 10 minutes, um, but it's really hard. It's, it usually takes me longer to wash my face twice and um, tone and moisturize and anything else I'm doing to it that night than it does for me to put on my makeup. Um, just I'm into skincare just that much, so that usually takes me longer. So I'm just going to show you guys a few products. Um, I know a lot of people um, do skincare videos. Sometimes I've seen them out there. And they don't like to talk, they like to talk about their regimen and what they do, but they don't like to talk about their products because you have to get stuff that tailors your skin. I understand that, but honestly, for me to help people that's going through what I've been through as far as hyperpigmentation and oily skin goes, it's important that I tell you guys what I use. Otherwise, the video is kind of pointless in a way. So, okay, to take off my makeup, my liquid gold, this is Dermalogica's Pre-Cleanse. Um, a lot of people have heard of OCM, which is um, the oil cleansing method. You can wash your face with, um, you start off with dry skin, and you can clean your face with, um, like, olive oil, stuff like that. Clean it with olive oil, then you get a hot towel, steam it real good, and take it off. Um, kind of based upon the same thing, but it has, a, their blend is awesome. It will take off everything, every trace of makeup you have. And even though it's oil, probably hear it a little bit, even though it's oil, it does not leave you oily. So, the trick is with with this product though is you have to start off with dry skin you cannot have wet hands you cannot have a wet face and a lot of people always say well it doesn't work that good well that's because you're not following directions it says on there that you have to start off with it all dry get it all worked in then you go ahead and add the water then you basically keep cleaning you're gonna see it turn like a silky milky white almost it's gonna emulsify and then you could clean your face off with warm water steam it a little bit and take it off your skin is gonna feel like like not even tight but like almost squeaky clean like probably over cleaned so if I wear a lot of makeup I love Dermalogica's pre-cleanse you're not gonna find this size unless you go to um, IDI a lot of you skin people out there know where IDI is but I live near IDI so um, and I went with the school one day so picked up a bottle and I think that bottle was probably like 30 or 40 bucks I don't know but it I'll have it forever it'll probably expire before I'm able to, to get rid of it all um, another um, product I like is Alpha Hydrox, their foaming face wash. I gave it to people. I give it to people all the time. Um, it has Alpha Hydrox in it. It is pH balanced. It's oil free, soap free. Um, what it does is it has lactic acid in it. And what it's going to do? I'm sorry. Maybe it's got colic. Maybe it's got colic. It has Alpha Hydroxy in it though. It has Alpha Hydroxy, but I can't remember which one. Um, but what it's going to do, you only need a little bit. You don't need much. It's pretty concentrated. This bottle will last you a long time. And it's only like 7 bucks. I'll put a link on Dollhouse's website for it um, to get it from drugstore.com. But I was getting this before I even started getting it from drugstore.com. Um, but what you, um, what it does is it's going to um, basically those acids are going to um, start clarifying your skin, almost like exfoliating in a way. So you're not going to feel a burn or anything like that. It's nothing major. You can use it twice a day and you'll be fine. Um, but that will get you clear. That will get out. It often gets out whiteheads and stuff like that. It's probably not going to do anything for blackheads. It's not that. It's not that strong. But for whiteheads, it's probably going to work real good. Um, this is a new stuff that I'm starting using. A lot of people start saying, start saying, you know, like don't buy bar if you have oily skin. You can use a bar soap. Trust me. It depends on what's in that bar soap. Just like with um, creamy cleansers, Dermalogica makes a creamy cleanser, and it works fine for oily skin. It's it's fine. It depends on what's in it. You have to really read your ingredients and things like that. But this is by, um, I can't pronounce the name. I want to say Cutacora, but I'm not sure. But it's a big bar, as you can see. And it has, um, it says that it's Medicaid. It's like 3 bucks and 50 cents. So I do get, I tend to break out and stuff like that. Different reasons. Hormonal for the most part. Um, or just random breakouts every now and then but when I do break out sometimes it's for my hair if I'm using a product that I probably shouldn't be using or trying out a new product and it doesn't agree with my skin and my hair is on my skin I'll start breaking out around here it happens this has um basically like skin grade antibacterial in it so um when you have that pimple and you get it out or you want to keep the skin clean and it's a good deep cleansing bar so I like this one and it's not expensive but especially if you like pop a pimple and you need to clean your face, that's going to be great because it's going to make sure you don't um, get it infected and get more dirt in it and things like that. Um, which is another myth. You can get rid of a, you can pop a pimple. 
if I were you guys, I would go see um, a dermatologist or an esthetician that will show you exactly how to pop it, when to pop it, and you know what I mean, and how to take care of it so you don't blemish and things like that. Usually when people get blemishes, it's because they're they're popping a pimple and 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 they keep messing with it. So that's that's usually why you would get a blemish. Leads me to my next issue. This is gonna start getting rid of those blemishes. Um, juice. I don't have a. I don't have it with me, but Juice Beauty makes a um, makes a blemish um, spot treatment and um, that has lemon in it, um, alpha hydroxy in it, um, all type of different um, acids and things like that. And it's pretty good. Actually, I found that it's okay for blemishes, but it's great for hyperpigmentation at night after you wash your face and things like that. Before you moisturize, put that on. Um, I'm also gonna um, start using this week. I'm gonna start using. Um, Del Cacaro, which is um, snail cream, which um, Dorothy from um, Fresh Dimes Blog Spot, um, she's in the Netherlands, and she told me that she uses snail cream every night, and I did some research, checked the ingredients, um, and those acids are going to help with the hyperpigmentation as well. Um, another product I like when I need to, um, when I do need to exfoliate, I don't use, um, what do you call that, stain eyes, um, the peach scrub it's just too harsh for me and over time what you can do is start getting basically fine lines in your skin because it's it's too abrasive it's too harsh it's almost like taking um sandpaper to your face it's, you ladies be careful with that stuff but I do like Dermalogica's um it looks a little crazy but it's Dermalogica's um angels on bare skin love it love it love it it smells like lavender um it has sage oil in it it has different things let me see here I thought I had my my list to tell you guys what's in it because I never remember everything that's in it. This size right here, because I know a lot of people are going to ask, this is like 18 bucks, but this is full. I'm, the only reason I bought it is because I have a lot of friends that want to try it, and what I'll do is um, I'll um, take it out with um, with a sanitized spatula, and I'll, um, I'll send them a piece. But you only need a pea size, like, let me see. You only need about that size. Put it in the palm of your hand with some um, with some water. Um, I like to use this one at night. Um, just for that, it has ground almonds in it. It has um, lavender. Um, it has lavender oil. It has rose absolute, um, which are both which are both soothing um, oils for the face. And it also has um, has lavender leaves. That's what the little dots are. So there you go. Um, a mask that I like to do every week. At first, I was using um, Dermalogica's. Um, gosh, Dermalogica's. Um, not daily. Maybe it was daily, and it just didn't do much for me. So I started reading ingredients, of course, and found out that this little four dollar bottle works a lot better than that twenty dollar tube that I bought from Dermalogica. It's um, it's Freeman's um, pineapple enzyme mask, and I tell people to get it all the time. I wish you guys can smell it. It's the best stuff ever. For the most part, it's going to get rid of um, a lot of the whiteheads. It's going to smooth you out, clear you up. It has alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy, if I'm right. Let me see here. Well, it doesn't have beta in it, which is salicylic. So it just has um, pineapple extract, which, and I think it also has papaya, which both papaya and pineapple exfoliate. Um, but it's going to lightly moisturize you, but this is good every week. Um, this is like three, maybe four dollars. I'll put a link, of course, on um, Dollhouse's website for it because I, you can get that from um, drugstore.com as well. Um, usually they do free shipping. They do a lot of buy one, get one freeze. They do a lot of 20% off. I shop from them all the time. It was only natural for Dollhouse to partner with drugstore.com and beauty.com because, you know what I mean, they have products that we all look for. Sometimes you can't find. Like I tell people to get that mask all the time, but for some reason they can't find it in their Walmart and things like that. Um, what else do I have? I have, oh, I moisturize, vitamin E every night. Um, in the daytime, I actually like, when I do have a, um, because I also do, I've done a few chemical peels. I'm doing another one next week. Um, usually I do them at school. I am doing them at home now, but that's because I'm not in school right now with everything that's going on. But what I like to use is, um, is, um, Hervada's herbal green tea, um, whipped butter whipped green tea herbal butter I'm tempted to say it's like a matte moisturizer 
it probably won't keep you matte all day in control oil, but for the most part, it's the only moisturizer I use that won't make me greasy. So, that's that one. Um, every day, I use my sunblock. Swear by it. This is SPF 55. Some people don't need 55. Do you some research out there and find out what works. Um, but every day, I swear by it. Even if your makeup has it in it, it doesn't hurt to add more. That's my opinion. Um, but that's the one I use. It doesn't leave me oily. You only need a little drop. It's like 10 bucks. But again, um, drugstore.com has it. Um, buy one, get one free right now. So I'm going to pick up a couple for the kids. Um, okay.